orange juice. Oh, you did That's give how me. much I care about you. I gave you I all know. my fresh orange juice. But do your lemon juice, do your lime juice, do Look your grapefruit juice. juice. Do it all with the three in one. We'll do all of it. This is fresh, fresh juice that you're getting. Chef Shahir, thank you so much for hanging out with Good us. Good to see you. Uh, stay on the phones for this one. All right, we have an incredible launch for you. Celebrity chef Lydia Bonesha is here. Let's dive into our brand new launch. My culinary line, Lydia's Kitchen, is special because behind it is my 50 years of experience of cooking in the kitchen and all the things that I love in the kitchen. My grandparents had wheat fields, we made the flour, but between that golden wheat swayed beautiful red poppies. And I used to sneak in, collect and make a beautiful bouquet and bring it for the family table for dinner. Get great ingredients, good equipment, and you have yourself a simple, good Italian meal. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. That means beckoning the whole family to the table for the great meal you have just prepared. Lydia Bastianich is not only an Emmy award-winning host for a public television show called Lydia's Kitchen, she's also a celebrity chef. She's been in the business for over 50 years. She is known for her Italian cooking. This entire hour for you, know that everything that you pick up is just enough that you need in your kitchen for the cooking, for the hosting, and if you need recipes, we have her incredible cookbook as well. I do want to start by showing you a couple Couple items that are coming up a little bit later in the show. The first one that is coming up is this incredible Dutch oven. Love the color on this. Everything that we're uh, showing you is brand new. You're the first ones to shop it. So we're launching this at a sale price of under $60. It's five quarts. It's cast iron that you get. This beautiful glass lid, Lydia's Kitchen, that's on there as well. And you're going to be able to do everything in here. Maybe it's your pastas that you want to uh, put in there. What's great about this is it's lightweight. Compared to that, con that traditional cast iron, it is lightweight. And you're going to have so much fun cooking so many dishes. Oh, also dishwasher safe. 813-603 is the item number on this one. And then, oh, we're going to end the show with this. This is a ceramic baker. So you're going to put this in the oven. It is absolutely gorgeous. Sell price under $50. Here's what I want to show you really quickly. I love as soon as you open it, look at everything that you can put inside with this. We'll dive into the beautiful patterns that Chef Lydia brings to us and why it's so special. It stows perfectly in your fridge if you um, want to keep things cool in there. If you want to put a couple of things that are on top to serve, it, it is lovely. It really is. I'm so excited. 9 by 13, so it's a generous size that you'll be able to use um, in your oven. But come on over. Let's, let's meet her. Are you ready? You ready to meet Chef Lydia? Hi. Hi, Nicole. So nice to see you. Pleasure, pleasure. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for your line here at HSN. You, she doesn't look it, but yeah, she's been in the business for over 50 years. And, and, and I love that your line that you're bringing us, and hang out with us for this next hour if you have time this Friday afternoon. It's all inspired by your childhood and really fine tuning those pieces as you've gone through your journey of being a chef. Yes, you know, Nicole, you mentioned 50 years I've been. Uh, in the kitchen, yeah. and along those 50 years, I always looked, you know, I could use a better this, I could use a better pan, I can yeah. use a better design. I like to present my food beautifully. And so, the time has come. Oh, the the time. time has come, you know, I have yeah. viewers out there that are with me uh, for a long time, and uh, with follow me on my books, my recipes, and I'm so excited when they write in, or they write me, this is Lydia, I did your recipe, I put it on my family table, right. and the family loved it. And I finally can cook, because you know, there's a, a lot of insecurity about cooking. Yeah, you, you get a little bit nervous too. And oh, the piece that we're starting with, we'll dive into the cookware, the book is exceptional if you wanna get that. This is your stoneware container. So tell me, we have a little bit of examples. Of, uh, tell me where you like to use this in your personal kitchen. I like a stoneware that I can put different things, very, very uh, uh, sort of accommodating in the kitchen. From salt, I could keep coffee there. You know, we make a lot of risotto, so my rice is in there. And of course, you can put the tarali or bread or crackers or whatever, and just keep it sealed. It has a great seal around it, mm -hmm. and it really kind of seals 
everything in. Yeah. And uh, it's well built. It's that feeling, it that ceramic that I remember my grandmother having in her kitchen. Oh, I love it. Yeah, since it is ceramic, that bottom part you can put in the dishwasher. Recommend to hand wash this because this is a bamboo lid. Wanted to show you that sealant that's just around there so you can keep your items that are fresh in there. I love that you have, we have coffee beans that are in there. It could be the rice that you want to put in there. This is perfect to go and uh, Chef Lydia's line is all about from, from oven to table. This is truly from countertop to table as well. Absolutely. If you wanted to put uh, some little breads in there that you um, can eat with it. But and look. then look. You can use it in your garden. Maybe you're like, okay, I want to I want to switch it up a little bit. Bring in some fresh flowers, some fresh basil. Put your own herbs I in there. I always have basil on my window lid. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, there, and a little bit in the sun. But certainly collect all your herbs, put them in. And, of course, put them on the table because mm. we'll show them later. But we have wonderful plates to match this. Yeah. So you can put the flowers in the middle. And then the whole table looks beautiful, you know, because food, yes, it's good. Yes, you got to cook it right. Yes, it's got to be healthy, but it's got to be presented beautifully. I know. You work so hard to make these things. You want to make sure that it's presentable, especially, and I love the brightness of the colors. You'll see uh, the patterns and the colors and the other pieces that we'll show you as well. Um, I love that we're going to, so the next thing we're going to move on to, and please stay with us because her cookbook is just ahead. I love that we're going to be highlighting your pasta bowl set yes oh yes. my goodness it. it is absolutely gorgeous i want to make sure that we're moving oh we're going all you, the way you across. want me to come i'll yeah, bring the book on. along yes, just yes. in case okay and we're, uh, we're uh, live on Facebook for anyone that's here. Oh, Jerry says, love Lydia. So we're so happy to have her here as well. Okay. So what we're getting in this piece, um, this is going to be your five-piece set. You're going to get four pasta bowls, and you're going to get a serving bowl. So, wow, these are Do you know, gorgeous. Nicole, i got to tell you the story about this pot piece. Yes. And, uh, you know, I relate my life, my passion, back to where I come from yeah and uh, when I was small I worked with my grandmother she was in the country she had all the animals she provided all the food and they had a wheat field and this wheat field was studded in May June with poppies oh. and I would sneak into the wheat you know I would sneak right into the wheat and collect collect the, the the poppies and then of course the wheat stalks would go down my grandfather wasn't so happy <laughs> but i brought this beautiful, like, but I got bouquet. The beautiful poppies <laughs> yes beautiful bouquet to the table now salads grandma always had had we call them terrine bowls bowls where she would do her salads mm. and of course serve her pasta so here is a great broccoli salad i'm gonna go over because yeah. i'm gonna finish this and you know this is the biggest thing and this is what we were talking about is when you make these of these in beautiful incredible creations of uh, these recipes we do have lydia's uh, book that's coming up you want it to be able to present it and this is a great way to do it and we call it the pasta serving bowls but you could be serving whatever you want in it um, the pasta bowls by the way are just um, eight and a half inches in diameter so you can fit a good amount uh, a good amount of pasta on there and then the diameter on the serving bowl is just under 13 inches and they are dishwasher safe um, they are just they're exquisite they really so they are Absolutely. So a little tip, you know, they are, they expect always tips from me. I give them tips yes. to take away. So are. when you ha when you cook your pasta, in this case, we made a wonderful pesto, and the pesto is made of those ingredients: the spinach, the parsley, and pistachio nuts. And you put it in the food processor with a little bit of oil, and you got yourself this beautiful pesto. Mm -hmm. So you cooked your pasta. The asparagus, you throw into the cooking water with the pasta in the last few minutes, oh. five minutes. So, and then you put the whole bowl, you, you, you strain it, you put it on top of the boiling water so it keeps warm while you're dressing it. Oh with my goodness, the, I never, and, and that's the Dutch oven that's coming up too, that it sits perfectly yes. on top. That so, is a good tip. So because pesto you never cook, you know, pesto you, you, uh, you want the freshness of it. So you want the pasta hot, but, but the pesto uh, not cook. Pasta water, I always tell you, save pasta water. And, <laughs> and, when, and when you're kind of a little dry, a little pasta water right in there, and that will sort of 
really dilute everything for you and mix it. You know, it's sometimes, uh, oh, the, the kids are late or whatever, and you want to, mm. the pasta yeah. is kind of sticking together. So, a little bit of hot pasta water, just like that, and stirring it just like that. And it's wonderful. Now here we can put some, you can put some cheese, uh, uh, you know, grana padano or pecorino or whatever, but make sure that everything is coated. I'm gonna put a little bit more. You like pesto? I do love pesto. I, oh. I really do. And I, I love that you're you're finishing off your meal in this incredible serving plate, this serving platter. Then there are four bowls that come with it. So, uh, you know, Chef Lydia is gonna take it to the table. The bowls okay. are there and everyone can uh, self-serve, which is really great. I love that, you know, it's that nice family so, style serving nice, plate. Nice and warm here and voila. And the cheese, we have some cheese. Oh, yeah. And you know, I. And this is the same bowl, this is the same ceramic bowl that container that we showed right. you at the beginning that you Absolutely. can just use. Absolutely. So here we go. Oh, yeah. And we are ready with that. Now, here I have, maybe I'll give you, do you like crab? I do like crab. Oh, I okay. will never say no to seafood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's a little spaghetti, simple tomato sauce with a little bit of crab. You can put shrimp. You can put, uh, mm -hmm. and it's all in the book where we're going to talk about it. Is is a pot, up. a pan, and a bowl. The simplest You'll recipes. Make all, this. all you need is this. What we're going to show them today yeah. to make every single recipe in that. Yeah. So let me give you a little pasta. Let me see what you think. Hey, and, you know, uh, I, I, and when I'm looking at this price too, I, I just I do want to point this out. Whenever you're picking this up, is everything comes together. A lot of times we're kind of doing a la carte for here's my serving bowl, here's my plates. Everything matches back so beautifully. The book is coming up if you want to grab that. And this is, is this this is a lot of crap. Mm -hmm. Well, you deserve it. I uh, thank you. I will. <laughs> I, and this recipe is in your book. Listen, listen, oh. you know, it's all about, food is about love, about oh. nurturing, about hospitality, about having a beautiful table, about having your family come to good food, mm -hmm. a, a lot of food, and a beautiful setting of a table, which this mm -hmm. is. So here I have just a little bit of oil and vinegar, simple, or balsamic vinegar. The salad, you know, you always think of green salad like this, but how about steamed vegetable salads with oh. bean, with onions, and with boiled eggs. This mm. is a great, and you just, and my grandmother would say, you know, I'm gonna refer to my grandmother a lot of times. But it's, that's your inspiration, and that's the great thing about this, too, is that the connection that you get with this. Yes. Serving plate, four bowls that come with it as well. All if right. you want to get it home, time number is 813737. Mm, that was a good Okay, good. I have more for you to eat. I know, I know. <laughs> Go like, come on, girl, come on. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now we're going to, oh, we have the cookbook right here. Oh, I brought you. <laughs> oh, this. Well, this cookbook. Oh, the skillet. This is what they want to, this is coming up. In about 15 minutes that we'll be able to talk about. It's a cast iron skillet. But the great thing about this is I can just wipe it clean. Wipe it clean, and not only that, you know, the uh, cast iron, usually heavy. This one no, this is 30% less in weight than yeah. the regular. You know, my grandmother had a big skillet, and I remember her sort of lifting it full of polenta, whatever. And so I said, you know, I need something lighter because 50 years in the kitchen, your wrist also right. sort, it gets so, a, sort of is, goes. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, this is coming up in a, a little bit. Uh, if you're just joining us, welcome. This is our great gatherings. Uh, chef Lydia is here with the celebrity chef, been cooking in the kitchen for 50 plus, thanks Tracy. <laughs> 50 plus years, um, it's just showing us incredible creations. So I have a few minutes to spend on this. I love how simp it's simple recipes that you and I can accomplish at home, whether you're the most veteran cook in your home or if you're a beginner like me. I like It's a pot, a pan, and a bowl. That you can make a whole meal in one Dutch oven or in one skillet. And this is the book that tells you how to do that or, wow. or, or bake in this equipment. But the idea, you know how the idea came? I was just getting together on this, on this uh, uh, book before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And people, 
we made at home, started cooking. Yeah, we had and, to, right? Yeah. And I said, this is my opportunity to really lead them in the kitchen, to have them cook, yeah. and the simple recipes. And everybody's conscious about cleaning. Nobody wants to, too yeah. much clean, so <laughs> one pot. But you know what? You go back in tradition, one pot was all they had on the stove. My grandmother had one big pot, vegetables, meat, proteins, everything in there. And it was done. And this is the book that does that. Okay, uh, so I'll have you open that up. What I want you to know is when you get this, and, and Lydia has sold, uh, sold millions of her cookbooks. You, I think this is her 14th cookbook. And she's, and they're award winning, she's award winning author for her cookbooks as well. And includes a um, hundred recipes. Uh, let me. There's color photographs that are in there too. So I'll just walk you through it as your experience. If you're gonna open that up, learn a little bit about Chef Lydia herself. But let me flip through. Oh, look at boiled this. Dan look this at that. Is, this is the recipe we just made. This is what we just made. And yes. that serving plate that we were able to uh, to show you. Um, and it's simple one pan recipes that are in there too. Show us some of the other things. So this is what we just showed in that serving plate. Right. Um, this ceramic baker is coming up, but what, that looks good. What yeah, that? that's a, a bread pudding. Bread pudding <gasps> with, with, oh, uh, with berries. That. And you know, you can make it seasonal. I give you recipes, but I always tell everybody, just improvise with what you have at home. If I tell you to make a bread pudding with raspberries and you have strawberries, then you use strawberries. You know, build confidence and I, I appreciate very much when the viewers connect with me and they respond, they say, yes, Lydia. That's an onion soup, is That's that? That's an onion soup. Yeah, that and looks it's simple. So it's so good. simple, so simple to do. So, and here we have a nice uh, 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 plum Salad. chutney. You know, you serve uh, some cheese or whatever. You make a nice, Plum chat and on the tray. This is the cover to the baker. Oh. So you can use it as a tray. And of course, some delicious cookies. Here, this one is baked in the skillet. We'll get to the skillet. And this is a focaccia. Everybody loves focaccia. So in the skillet, you put it in, in the oven, and voila, you got yourself. Oh my good, all right, a, lo a lot of you are loving this recipe book. Look, the easiest way to dive in is scanning the QR code, the bottom left side of your screen. Just grab your cell phone, open the camera, and it takes you there. Um, there's only 400 available. Oh, this already over 100 sold, and we're just now highlighting it on air. If you wanna get it, 815-764, key that into hsn.com, your app, quickest way um, to get it home. Mm -hmm. We're already showing you the left counter, 356 that are left as well. So, uh, uh, Chef, tell us a little bit about, you, you're, known for, you're known for your Italian cooking. Uh, so tell me a, a little bit about your inspirations of the dishes you're like, this is, there's over 100 recipes, but what's some of the dishes you're like, I have to feature this in this book? Well, you know, I. I and go back to my, my heritage. Yeah. Cooking with grandma. And grandma had all the animals. We had pigs. Mm -hmm. We had uh, goats. We milked the goats. We made the ricotta from the goat milk. We had chickens, ducks. And then, of course, we had a little garden, a big garden. So I would go to the garden and harvest with her. So it was a question of cooking seasonal, cooking uh, uh, fresh things, and make it simple, Nicole. You know, sometimes, yeah. sometimes recipes and people are, uh, it seems to be too be intimidating. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. too much. And I get a lot of that. You know, oh, Lydia, I can't cook. I'm not. Yes, you can cook. Get in the kitchen, a simple recipe begin, and start cooking. And of course, the first time you do something, it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, second, you give third. You can try. And you know what? Listen to yourself. Listen to taste things and go on, and mm. feel free to modify my recipes by all means. I love, ooh. You know, there's salads that you make in here, there's desserts, there's more than 100 recipes uh, that are in there. I mean, you're getting this from not only as a beloved TV chef, best-selling author for her cookbooks as well. Um, one, a, a pot and a pan and a bowl, that's all. I like that's what you made it too, is that a lot of times we get these recipes and you're like, I don't even understand what half these our ingredients are, and then I need all these different gadgets. But they make it complicated, you made it so simple. The recipes are simple, the ingredients are simple. They, they are Italian because, you know, I, I came here as, as an immigrant at 12 years old to America. Wow. And, and I had left my grandmother and I, and I missed an awful lot. And cooking became my connection to my grandmother. Oh, I so love I that. So I made all the recipes, the aromas, the flavors, they brought my grandma to me. You know, a 12 year old, you always, yeah, you miss oh, grandma. Yeah. And, and so I continued to cook 
the recipes that I remember, but you know, Italy, I, we come from northeastern Italy, now it's Friuli Venezia Giulia, actually it's in Istria where I come from, which is in Croatia, so I'm a kind of borderline case up there. <laughs> <laughs> but you bring us these incredible ingredients. Not a lot to go around. Final 200. Now, a lot of you are calling in on the phone, so it's probably a little bit less to go around. If you want to jump to the front of the line without anybody knowing, just politely cut. Key in that item number 815764 to go ahead and get this home. There's over 100 delicious recipes that are in there. There's, you know, there's 49 uh, uh, beautiful pictures that are in there that are showing you some of these divine recipes that you'll be able to make. Simple recipes as well. Uh, while you go to HSN to place your order for this uh, cookbook so you don't miss out on it, um, also, you can search all kinds of recipe. Oh, the buzz. That's what you're going to search. The buzz. And then you can dive into getting inspired of what you want to make for this spring and this summer. Maybe there's a new dish that you're inspired by. Maybe there's some new foods that you picked up from HSN and you want to find the best way to go ahead um, and get that. You're able to do so. All right. I'll let you know when this cookbook sells out. Oh, we'll take it. We'll take it with us. I'll take it. Did you take some, some bread pudding to go? <laughs> well, you know, I want you to eat. I do. Uh, right. in, in, in order. I don't want you to jump to dessert, but um, I'm going to leave it here. So yes. this, this is going to be towards the end, and you're going to have your cookie and your bread pudding. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to cook some some main course here. Okay, so now what we're moving on to. We, we showed you the book. You're like, you just need a, a pot uh, and a pan, and that's it. You gotta have the right thing to do it. Nice. Um, so now we're gonna move on to the Dutch oven. It's a five-quart Dutch oven Ugh. that you get. Lightweight is the key, Chef Lydia, of what, of what it's, you need. It's lightweight, enamel on the outside so you can clean it easy, and the inside is non-stick. So, no problem, you know, you cook well, it gives you, you know what's good about cast iron is, even though it's light, that it keeps its heat. Once yeah. it gets heated, look at this, I'm gonna put this sh short ribs right in here, and mm. nice and hot, and we'll let it caramelize nice before we make our braised short ribs. Here I have a risotto going. So I have some onions and some uh, uh, bacon. Oh, it's yeah. like the aromatics, right? Okay. It just smells so good. good. And I'm gonna <clears throat> put in rice. The rice, you know, you put it dry. You don't wash the rice. And you put really? a short, yeah, for a good risotto, you put short grain rice because it releases the starches more readily and it makes the risotto creamy. You know, my risotto got me on television 25 years that, ago. That's what it is. That, this, <laughs> this, is the, this is the dish that got her in. Um, the colors that you can pick, by the way, on the Dutch oven as you're, uh, you're watching Chef Lydia cook everything, we have that black that you see that she's using, um, a cobalt, which is that beautiful blue, and then we do have it in for red for you as well. You're the first ones to shop it, five quarts. And, and Chef, whatever we were talking before, I mean, you can make a lot of different dishes in this. Everything, risotto, pasta sauce. Here I have a great soup going, oh. which is I'm gonna. And that beautiful glass lid comes with it too. Right. So you can you can help me out. Throw okay. the salmon. All right. Let's go. Throw the salmon in there, and the scallions. Throw the salmon. That's not the salmon. That's the salmon. Yeah. Here to go. Okay. <laughs> throw, throw the salmon. Right. So I have a base of of rice, potatoes, leeks. Throw the scallions in there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mix it a little bit around. We're cooking today. All right. Okay. Get the ladle. Yeah. Mix it around. And so I'm mixing the the risotto here. Let's turn these these. You like to cook, Nicole? <laughs> I am the cleaner. My cousin is my my husband is the one that cooks. But what I love about this too, as I was just stirring around, nothing sticking because it is non-stick, so that makes it easier, right? It's less stressful to cook when your when your food isn't sticking to the side. So that's Look. really great. Look at that beautiful color that you've got. Look at that sear, and quickly, you and know, that was, here. Yeah, that was and fast. Look, and look, this coming to a boil right away because Already. the cast iron keeps oh. the heat. And what you want with fish, you want high temperature and quick cooking. So we're mm. gonna stir it a little bit, and... Oh, we're gonna be eating soon. That's the great thing about cast look, iron, right? It look, heats up fast. And, and look, look in here. Evenly. Everything, everything is nice and clean. Nothing and, sticking. No. Add the vegetables in here. To you here? add them right oh, in here. Okay, right in. We're gonna, on. we're gonna braise this. Let All them right. caramelize. Mm. All right. And let that cook. And then you have the fish. 
Oh my goodness. You like fish, right? Oh, I do. I love okay. seafood. I think everything is cooked here, so I'm gonna shut it off because fish doesn't require all that cooking. So, mm -hmm. you need I your need serving to put plate? the bowl right here. So remember, we, we highlighted those serving plate, that serving plate that came with four bowls if you wanna go ahead and get that. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. So everything is moving along here. You can get on this side okay. and mix my risotto. I love it. Okay. Put me to work in the kitchen. I, I love but when you have the right tools, yeah. the risotto's not sticking, by the way. Oh. Can y'all see that risotto? I know she's pouring there, Look, but the risotto, this. nothing is sticking. No, no, no. At so now, all. Nothing's now, burning on when there. When you begin, throw the zucchini in. Okay. Okay. So I was telling you that right, the risotto got a Julia bit. Chow came to my restaurant, the Felidia, yeah. because she wanted to know a little more, a little more vegetables. She okay, wanted I'll to know more. who is this young woman <laughs> chef and what is she cooking? What right. kind? And so she came in and she wanted to know risotto. And uh, I made a mushroom risotto, I remember. She loved it. She yeah. wanted to learn. She came over the house. Ultimately, she got me on her show. And that's my story with the, with PBS television. And, and Lydia's Kitchen is an Emmy award-winning show, by the way. Lydia, right. uh, won it, which was so fabulous. Because, you know, you're just, you're so personable. You really make it easy for us. You make the kitchen not intimidating. I mean, to have me here cooking, like, like only Chef Lydia can have me cooking on national television because it's not my forte. Oh, let's see. But this what is do a, you mean? Don't you, don't you cook? It's full of ovens. I, I know. No, I, I just clean, but let me tell you, okay. is nothing sticking because it's non-stick. It's not overwhelming of how heavy it is. Beautiful glass lid that comes with it. It accommodates a lot because it's five quarts. Um, you just wash it. You don't have to worry about baby okay. in it like traditional cast iron. You, that at, serving plate at, is still available. Look that how beautiful. There's a little bit of olive oil on top of this. The first little bottle right here. The first little the bottle. Yeah, just oh, okay. a little bit. A little bit. You just a little. At the end, gives it the flavor like that. Oh. And look at this. This, this seafood. Isn't that beautiful? Whoops. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to go around. Okay, yeah. You, that serving plate comes with four bowls if mix, you still want to get that. Mix the risotto. Mix the risotto. Okay, mix the risotto. <laughs> okay. Look, you can roast the chicken in the... Oh, because it is... You can go up to 500 degrees with this, right? Absolutely. This is oven safe. Absolutely. So now, to continue the risotto, you need some hot stock. It needs to be hot. Okay. The ladle here. And just enough. Go ahead. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. That's it. Let's raise a little bit the temperature here. Okay, let's see. It really is so easy when nothing sticks to the pot. And if you're like me, I'm kind of used to having that, that wrong pan, that wrong pot where stuff sticks to the side and then I get frustrated. So here. No frustration. Let me, you know, you gotta learn all these dishes. Here, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get your cookbook too before it sells out. <laughs> yeah, I'll save one for you. <laughs> so here, here you have, I add some wine or beer or whatever and you continue cooking. Mm. And I have it, let me get you in the, in the oven. I have one ready in the oven. You hear the crackle? I know, the beautiful ah. crackle. That's when you know it's good. That's when you know it's good. Remember, when you're, you're hanging out with us, I know we're having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are too. Um, you get to pick if you want black, you want red, you want that cobalt blue. You're able to do so. So I love that. So Chef Lynn, you started that. We Look started on the stove top. Then we Look took it to the this. oven. Same Dutch oven that you're getting. This. Oh, that is so gorgeous. That you can finish this on stove top or finish it in the oven. If you're busy, you're busy doing the risotto because you're gonna serve the risotto first. Okay, okay. This finishes in the oven. Mm. Just be careful of the, that the pot is hot. So when you bring it out of the oven, what I usually do, you know, make sure that everybody knows that the handles are hot. And oh, I'm gonna serve, yeah. I'm gonna serve some for you on some mashed potatoes or polenta, my grandma. Oh, and that's part, of, that's the bowl that goes with the serving plate, nice. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Yes, that's the idea, isn't that's it? That's the idea, right? <laughs> It's a nice to have a nice, cohesive everything that blends together, looks fabulous together. I'm excited for those that are picking this up. It's at a sell price, right, under $60. You can split those payments, $19 and some change to get home. I know there's a lot of you that are brand new with us. Um, Chef Lydia, she's launching here at HSN, so I want to help you get this home. You know, your mouth is watering.
ensuring you're enticed, you're getting the right cookware, uh, but we got to be able to get it home to you. So you can give us a call or you can key in that app number 813-603. I'm telling you, I've never, cooking on national television was as one box I can check now, uh, but you make it really easy. Look look at this oh. now. Let's. I'll put some rosemary here. The same here. container that we started with, now you have your fresh rosemary. Nice Everything fresh rosemary. It, but that's the idea. You that's know, the you idea. don't want to overcrowd your kitchen, but you want to have the essentials. These are, and everything okay. we're showing you are truly so this essentials. Is, you know, I, you know, it's it's meant for you, but I'm going to put is it, it oh, here. Okay. I'm going to put it here, but well, I have a lot. I'll let them get the shot, and then I'm going to grab it because so I. So listen, <laughs> I, I want to. I'm going to make my team jealous because they're like, I want some I, I too. Wanna, I want to show you how how tender this yeah. look. I mean, short ribs. Who doesn't like short ribs, you know? I love it. Delicious. Look at this. What I also love, but you too, know, is the cleanup's going to be a breeze, guys. That's all I think about. I was like, I'm the cleaner in the kitchen. Cleanup's going to be a breeze because it's not sticking. This <gasps> one pot, you have the vegetables, the, the meat. Look at this. I mean, yeah, you, you know, did everything when, in this one pot. Right, right. Everything, the vegetable, the carrots, the turnips, the onions, and the meat. Now, let's go to the soup. Oh, I have to serve you some soup. Okay, I'm stir, 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 the, stir the risotto. Here we go. Still not sticking to the pan. I was a little worried because we, wait, it's not, not sticking to the Dutch oven. Mix, mix. Okay. It wasn't, okay. it wasn't, see, everything just slides around. So this, look at this soup. Love that. Non-stick. Isn't that beautiful soup? Look at this. Simple. Oh. And you know, you could, you could make the base of the soup and then... At the end, just add this, the, 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 the fish, the oh, salmon, but that. you can do anything else. You can order shrimps. Uh, let's see. Look at, look, yeah, thanks. Help me out. Mm -hmm. I will help you out. You got me cooking, chef. You got me eating. I'm gonna, this is actually something I'm gonna, oh yeah, give me. A little, a little beauty. Oh, it's sticking to A little face. garnish, the final yeah. garnishes that you get Taste this, it, taste too. it if you like it. You like it? And you know what I wanna show you? I wanna show you this wonderful, Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, reinforced lid. And do you see that, that it has a beautiful it's glass like a lid. high dome so yeah. you can fit like a whole chicken oh, or in there good. roasting and in there. And also it's a metal uh, handle with yeah. Lydia's kitchen on top. But what it is, it's a hollow handle and it's connected. It's, there's a plate on the bottom, a metal plate, but it's not connected. So the heat doesn't travel to the top. Oh. So it stays nice. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And this and this fits on that skillet too. So one top fits on both. And the skillet's coming up. We, yes, it, the yes. skillet is coming up that we'll talk about too. Uh, remember this Dutch oven, it's five quarts, so you will be able to accommodate a lot of stuff um, with this as well. It's non-stick. It's heat safe up to 500 degrees. That is from your stove top to your oven if you'd like to put that in. If you picked up Lydia's cookbook, you're in good company because add, add this to your order. Everything will ship for free um, once you hit $75 and then you'll be able to make those incredible meals that we saw in the in the cookbook. The skillet's coming up if you wanted to get both. The whole hour really, I, I love Chef, is that really just getting the essentials in, in your kitchen. This is so good, by the way. Is it, is it good? Listen, and, and uh, you know, you always need a little something. You want to keep it clean. Mm. So a spoon Look to at rest that. your... Chef, we got a sellout for you already. Cookbook is gone. So okay. congratulations to those oh, who got you. it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, Chef Lydia does have a spoon rest too. If you want to pick that up, all the patterns match back to each other so perfectly. This See is how just... nice? But you know what? This is good. It's good for a spoon. But sometimes when you have an antipasto and you have olives or you have something that has a little stem or something, mm -hmm. everybody's looking for where to put it. These little things, you put a few on the table, they can put the olive pits in there and oh whatever. Oh my goodness. You see, so, you know, you, you, have to, you have to be uh, able to diversify oh, so in good. the kitchen, use it for different things. Okay, so the risotto, I wanna give a tip here. Okay. So because I, I want, you know, they're watching I'm, I'm, I'm committed now, now that okay. I've been a part okay. of it, I'm committed. So, <laughs> one cup of rice, arborio rice, okay. will yield two cups of risotto, and we'll take about three cups of liquid to get there in about 18 mm -hmm. minutes. And then the flavoring, whether it's a vegetable or, or shrimp or whatever, you put as you go along. I put the vegetable first because I wanted to cook. Had I put shrimp in there, I would put it at the end because shrimp takes a few minutes to mm. cook. And you always need to have hot stock because this is a reaction, chemical reaction. You don't want to stop it. The cream is starting to come out of the rice and whatever, and you need to put hot stock to it. So that's why you put hot, yeah. That's what I thought 
Julia Child, so now Nicole. <laughs> so now Nicole knows. Now I know too. Now I and now I'm going to tell my husband too. Like, hey, just so you know, you need to have hot stock next to it so you don't um, mess up with the flow because the risotto is going and you don't want to stop it. Um, if you're hanging out with us, we'll be together for the next three minutes on this Dutch oven. We have the next 30 minutes still with Chef Lydia. Her launch here at HSN. We're so excited to have her. The colors that you can pick for this Dutch oven is black, is cobalt. Look at that, gorgeous. And then we also have it in black for you as well. The incredible glass lid comes with this too. Red is the most popular option that a lot of you are picking up. If you wanna jump in the ordering process, it's on sale for you, sale prices don't last. So at the launch, you're getting it the best price we've been able to offer, under $60. 813-603 is the item number. Split the payments, you know, if you weren't expecting to pick this up, and you're like, I love Chef Lydia, I, and I just stumbled upon, now she's here at HSN, $19 and some change to go ahead and get it home. Oh, you can save $10, sign up for the HSN credit card, you can apply and buy, save $10. The chef's telling me to stir, stir the risotto. Okay, you, can you talk and can I can. you sell and to stir? I can. I can cook. I'm doing something new. I can cook and tell people about getting $10 into their account when they I, sign up for the HSN credit card. I just wanted to show them. Oh, the chicken. Oh, yes. How beautiful a chicken in, in, wow. in a Dutch oven That's like a, this comes. That shows the yeah. capacity and lemon. of that oven. Yeah, yeah. you put it the in, Dutch you put oven. it in the oven, you dress it, the lemon, the little bit of vino, and voila, you have your roasted chicken. Mm. And you know, who doesn't love a roasted chicken? Um, I love roasted chicken. Okay. Ab absolutely, I love it too. I still didn't even get to try the beef. We're gonna, I'm gonna try the beef as well. We've made a lot of different things that are here. Still so stir the, the, nothing is sticking, right? Even no, after you, putting not, the extra nothing water Nothing is on sticking there. Every, And if, if when we were used to, when we pour that out, the pot was clean, no problem. You rinse it over, it is oven safe. It is uh, a dishwasher safe. Yep. It, it, it carries the heat. You know, my, my, my grandmother had this big cast iron pot right. and she would make soup in there. She would make polenta in there. But I remember she was a, she was a frail, frail, she wasn't a big woman like, like me. And she would carry this, it was heavy. I know, so and, heavy. And, then, and then as I got into cooking, cast iron, beautiful, carries the heat, my, my wrist began. So this is where we in collaboration with, with the, 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 the manufacturer, we came up with this like. cast iron 35% yeah, lighter. It has to be lighter, so it's not weighing on you um, okay. whatsoever. So I know I'm all nervous. She's like, come on, you gotta really stir it in there. Nothing sticking, um, up to 500 degrees of heat safe, and what we were saying. So now, I'm sorry, you took. I, I know, I try, I try to, I'm like, I know, I, I do, I can't just come and eat. I do have to tell you how to get it home. But there's an item number if you want to go ahead and add it to your cart. Go ahead, chef. Oh. So the last, the, last, the last step in the risotto is mantecare. So you uh -huh. shut the heat off, you add the butter. Go ahead, you mix, mix, mix. Mantecare means to whip. Go ahead, go ahead, mix, okay, mix, okay, mix. Okay, okay, I'm back on duty. Oh, mix okay. it in there. That's it, go all around. Looks good, mm -hmm. looks good, huh? It looks so good. You think it needs a little bit of more stock or no? Um, I think maybe a little bit. Okay. Let's, right? Let's do it. A little bit. We're in it together. We're in it together. We are committed <laughs> together in this. You know, we have beautiful pieces like this, too. You're, you're going to be more inspired to stay in the kitchen and cook and not go out and go buy dinner because you have these beautiful pieces that will last you for years to come. Um, I know we're about to wrap things up on the Dutch oven. We do have the skillet coming up, so stay in the process for that. 813-603 is the item number. Now you know cheese is my love language, so I like that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love that. some cheese. Mix, 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 oh. mantecare, mantecare, and the risotto is ready. It's done! So, Look at that. We made that in less than 20, about 18 minutes, just like you said. Absolutely. Okay. So, let's... Because I'm ready. I, hold on, let me get my spoon. I know we're about to wrap things up, and I'm supposed to tell you about spring style here at HSN, but come on. You gotta see. And Look at that. A little, is that enough? That is more than <laughs> enough. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, so good. Um, okay, I'll take one little bite. All right, well, thank you very much. This is, this is, I hope we tented you. I hope we tented them mm, with I hope some we did cooking, too. getting in the kitchen. Uh, feeding the family because that's uh, feeding all the about. family. Hey, we still have 20 minutes to, to tempt people. Uh, go to hsn.com, place your order for this. You can also uh, shop for any spring style that you like to see. The top that I'm wearing is from Chicnicity that's here at HSN. Um, the earrings that I have on also available on HSN. 
you can dive in even you know there's a lot of different things that you can dive into for spring fashion just search spring style on hsn.com i'm so excited i am so excited i'm, I'm taking my risotto with me apparently they want to okay. see my shirt Here's my top. It's from Chicnicity. Isn't it cute? One of our new designers here um, at HSN. There's the item number 787953 if you want to go ahead and get it. All right, we're going to take a really quick break. If you are ready for some more things to come from Chef Lydia, go refresh your coffee or go get a beverage, get your lunch, and then come on back to HSN. Listen to Nicole. <laughs> at Dial 10 Beauty, we believe in the confidence that lies within you. Every woman deserves to feel empowered, unstoppable, and unapologetically beautiful. Give me 10 minutes and I'll change the way you see yourself. There's no better time to add one more item to your bag. Shop more and ship smart at HSN. Now you'll never pay more than $5.95 to ship your entire order and get free shipping when you spend $75 or more. For details, search shipping and authorization at hsn.com. Join HSN in celebrating International Women's Day. We're highlighting collections from woman-owned and founded businesses, including Clover by Joe by Joanna Garcia Swisher, Colleen Lopez Jewelry, Fashion by Rhonda Shear, and Doll 10 Beauty by Doris Dalton. All day Wednesday on HSN and hsn.com. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart. vegetables you get that beautiful acidity you get that lovely sharpness and the brightness from the acid that cuts through that delicious fatty meat big mortadella slices and slices of mortadella maybe like a blue cheese stuffed olive i love all the different types of crackers the salty the sweet guava paste also known as membrillo that i think pairs with cheese and meat just beautifully mustard and some country bread Oh I am just yep. eating I need my risotto spoons. that we just made with Chef Lydia, who is here, celebrity chef, been in the business for over 50 years. Many of you know and love her. Her cookbook sold out. Her Dutch oven that we made the risotto in is on fire. A lot of you are loving that. Now we're going to go on to, a lot of you have picked this up. Go back over to Chef. Now, if y'all, if you're just tuning in, just so y'all know, I don't cook, I clean, but Chef Lydia said, today you will cook. <laughs> Today yeah. I am helping out in the kitchen. We got the right tools to do it though. So this is your 10 inch cast iron skillet. It's non-stick. It's much lighter than traditional cast iron. You can actually wash it. So that's what's great about it. Same colors that we saw in the Dutch oven, still having the skillet. We have that beautiful, vibrant red. We have the black that you see, and then we also have it in blue as well. Remember, it's 10 inches around. You have the pour spout on both sides, and it's nonstick, which is really great. All right, chef, take okay. it away. I, the skillet, great. The same lightness, cast iron, mm -hmm. nice enamel, easy to wash. The handle, I have to talk to you about the handle. Feel it underneath. It's, it's a little uh, empty underneath. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. Here. This prevents the heat from traveling, so it keeps the hand cool. Oh. And, and we have this helping handle, which is great. Yeah. So you can come in and help if you have a whole chicken in there, because you can do a whole chicken in here, no problem. Mm. And, uh, and so from eggs to pancakes to uh, uh, shrimps and vegetables. You know, a lot of people say vegetables. How do I prepare vegetables? In a skillet like this. Really? A little bit of a, look at this asparagus. They look nice, right? Yeah, the color is getting great on yeah. there. Yeah, nice and I have here, this is a great summer dish that you can, you know, you sear the asparagus and you sear mm. the, the shrimps, which I did here. Okay, just like that. 
I just this... realized, the tray that she's serving this on, by the way, is one part of the ceramic baker that's coming up at the end of the show. Right. So you can really just... get a lot out of that. Just let me reheat it, you know. Uh, I'm a chef, what can I tell you? So I know. <laughs> you want it to be good. You want everything to be right. That's all there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, now, you are left from here. When it's nice and hot, I want you to pile the shrimp on, on that bruschetta. How's okay. That? All right. I can do and that I easily. Am, and I am going to do for you a nice uh, non Cook, uncooked lasagna. The pasta is not cooked. Wow. So I in just a put skillet, it all in there. Yeah, in a skillet is great. You put some sauce with a little bit of water and the, the stuffing, the stuffing is, let's see. Where is the stuffing? Here, ricotta. Yep. Ricotta, you can put some vegetables with the ricotta, uh, broccoli or whatever. On, I want, I want you to, 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 here. Oh my goodness. Put some more pasta on there. No, no, solid pasta. I want you to feel. It's not cooked. Oh yeah, it's not cooked at all. Okay. And you just put it right into the skillet. Absolutely. I'll put a little sauce here. Just a little bit like that. And you cover it again with pasta. And dry pasta, just like that. Wow. Huh? I love we'll put a little bit more of sauce. Just so you that. can make lasagna straight into the skillet. This lasagna, from the book, I have the recipe. You buy the pasta, you make the stuffing, ricotta, but you can put some fruit, uh, some vegetables in there, peas or whatever. And you put your cheese on top and you cover it. Where is the cover? And the, the cover that you saw in the Dutch oven just like goes that. right right onto the skillet. So just so, so you, you know, they work together. So you let it simmer like that, and it will cook on top of the stove. Uh, or I have a great one for you in the oven that's already. Should I bring it out? Oh yeah, I, I, I'm doing my job, chef. I got the- You're doing a good the, job. Got the You're shrimp doing on a there good as well. Job. The asparagus okay. is cooked on there. Now we're putting the shrimp that's on there. Get beautiful color, okay. which is really great. Let me really go great. to get the lasagna that I want to show you. The skillet is so clean. Look, there's nothing on there. That is great. All right, so you just tell me when, and, and by the way, she's pulling the skillet out of the oven. So just like we saw in the Dutch oven, this is um, heat safe up to 500 degrees that you're able look to put that this. in. Look at this. Ooh, look at that. This is the lasagna here. Mm, you cook good. it, you let it cook, simmer for about 30, 40 minutes. Then you put it in the oven and it's finished. And so you come home from work, 45 minutes, you got it done. Again, the handle, always leave a towel here so that you, your husband, when he goes cooking, doesn't grab the hot, <laughs> the hot, hot handle, huh? And here, here I have uh, peppers. You know, us Italians, we love our vegetable. Yeah. And so that's peppers. Oh, that smells so good, too. Doesn't it? Okay. I, this is non, look, look at that. Look at the skillet that we took everything out of. Yeah, you see? Nothing. Clean. Nice. Clean, should we, nice. Should we put Spoon rest is available if we want to put the item uh -huh. number for that. We do have a spoon rest. Everything matches yes, back yes. perfectly together. Okay. This tray comes with a ceramic baker and that you know, will highlight gonna, a little I bit. See, I see all these chefs going like this, but I don't have to because it's nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do that at all. It's no, all taken no, care no, of, no. which no, is no. really great. Okay. Um, Here, the vegetables, you know, you make some uh, peppers and eggplant. Look at that. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Around. So, you know, you could certainly put it in a plate or whatever, but you could bring this to the table. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, why not? Huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. So these, Especially this the dish, too. this dishes, and we'll, 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 we'll get to them, or we got to them, are great for pasta, soup, but also to bring vegetables to the table. You know, when you have all these vegetables, oh, like in this case, yeah. you know, you bring it to the table and, you know, where do you put your spinach? Where do you put your broccoli? Where do you put, like this? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. This acts like a frame. Do you like this, this, this design around it? Because inside the poppy then gets covered and I like, it's okay. Yeah. But I have the frame around it. I love the, everything works back so perfectly. If you, those bowls, by the way, four of them come with a serving plate. So we had that a little bit earlier in the show. If you missed that, that is still available on hsn.com. So mm. everything works perfectly together. That vibrant red matches the vibrant red in the serving plates and the bowls. That blue matches back 
We also have black available in the skillet too. So all the colors work very nicely together. The cookbook did sell out, so I won't tempt you with it. <laughs> so you see, I'll put the I got it all right out. There. Now, if I was the other chefs, I would go in with the rag and clean it, but I'm, I don't want to dirty the rag. This is, <laughs> this is so easy, it's cleaned. Uh, paper towels or just a, a little bit of running water. Just rinse it out, yeah. Nice, nice and clean. So here we are with the vegetables, with everything. And of course the lasagna. Now you see, I even made a pizza in this skillet. Oh, you skillet. can make a pizza in this skillet. Yes, you can make the focaccia. Oh. The pizza goes in the oven, it's beautiful. And of course, this is our lasagna here now. So yes. I, I, would, I would assume you want a piece of lasagna. Where is, there we go. Yes oh, or no? Yeah. And yeah. again, remember, yeah. this is hot. Very hot. Look at this. So Don't you see, so you see how, how, how the pasta is cooked. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to cook it. But look how you get that beautiful char and it's not, and you know, it's not sticking to the skillet. You're saying, Lydia, you're going in with metal. No problem. Oh, I, yeah. No problem. You should be worried to scratch stuff up. No problem. Let me just cut it. Ooh. Mmm. But it's beautiful color. A lot of color. cheese in here. A lot of cheese that's in there. Okay. So. I know, the metal's not scratching uh, it whatsoever. Uh, uh, there you go. Oh. Look at that. Okay. Beautiful color. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get a fork so you can really see what's inside there too. And remember, this is, uh, it's 10 inches, so it can really accommodate a lot that's in there. Look how beautiful that color is, right? Yeah. Oh, and we started on the stove Yes, yes. Oh, and then we finish it off in the oven because we can it's go up to 500 simple. degrees. And be careful, it's hot. You know, it's nice and hot from the oven. So what else can I, uh, uh, t the lasagna, I'm gonna give them tips. When you have time okay. and you wanna talk, I'll let you talk. But you wanna eat or um, talk? Well, we'll wrap things up on, on this one. If you're in the ordering process, we do have your order, the red, the blue, or the black, 813-678. Uh, did you have, a, you had a really quick tip? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. You, oh, you chef, I wanna let you yeah. say everything. This lasagna, they, 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 they'll, they'll worry. Can you prepare it in advance? Yes, you can prepare it, have it cooked. You see how it's melted? here, uh, then, then leave it out and put it in the oven in the last 10 minutes when you're ready to serve. And then whenever you're ready to serve. The spoon rest, so we've been utilizing this. It matches back with the tray that's coming up that, that goes with the ceramic baker, with the bowls that we were talking about, the serving plates. So if you want that spoon rest, I love the poppy. And for those who are just joining us, uh, Chef, I want you to share to them why poppies are so important to you. They're, very, they're my favorite flower. Uh, when 900 was, of those, by the way. When I was, the, the poppies come out at the end of May or beginning of June, mm -hmm. depend on how hot the spring is. And their favorite place to grow is between, the, in the wheat fields, between the, the heads of the wheat, you know? And so you see this beautiful golden wheat swaying in the, in the, in the wind and the sun and these red poppies. Oh. And I would sneak in because, you you know, the wheat, because I, was, I was small, you know, the wheat was bigger than me. <laughs> and you would just grab them, and at least you had those beautiful poppies to show your grandfather. Okay, or uh, it's it's been it's uh, been a, I, a fast a fast hour, but uh, chef, we do have this last item that we'll spend together for the next oh, uh, uh, seven or eight minutes. So this is your nine by thirteen ceramic baker with the serving tray lid. Um, great things that we've seen that uh, some of these recipes are featured in the if you picked up the all cookbook all of these recipes are in, in congratulations to those who got the cookbook you'll be able to yeah. use this so I, I love this idea of you have your baker that you can you know you bake your stuff in it and then you have your serving trays all together I mean, ugh, brilliant it's beautiful and they become let me let me show you they become a nice nice cover, cover. But right. also, when you finish, if you don't finish anything, you can put it in the refrigerator like that, and you can stack things up. So, you know, you On don't... On top of it, yeah, yeah. because sometimes... So you don't have to kind of clean and wash twice the, the baker. You can reuse it, of course. So let's, let's begin on this corner here, which is with roasted peppers and and uh, uh, sausages. And, and just the tray, so you can use it as a serving tray. Right, And that's right. what we're showing. If you wanna see okay, how- Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, for- What do you need help with, Chef? Uh, I, I like it on the I'll, serving tray. 
the tongues, but I will figure it out. Oh. No, no, it's okay. That's what you the sure? kitchen is all about. You know, I'm, I, I'm they here. They want to talk to you. You talk I'm, to them. I'm here. <laughs> I, I'm here for you. I'm here for those at home, and I'm here for Chef Lydia. Um, as she's serving that, I just wanted to show you anything that you bake. There's like casseroles, there's meats, there's desserts that you can make. Um, the bread pudding that was in her book that a lot of you picked up that book before it sold out. You cook it in this beautiful ceramic um, a, a baker, which, by the way, nine by 13 really great um, depth on this too of how deep that this is and then the tray you can serve directly onto that tray or it's stacked ever so pretty and I love that it's ceramic too because these are like chef you really have brought us like heirloom pieces this is something you're going to keep for years you know and absolutely and I intend that because it's quality I, you know I reminisce with my grandmother's and my mother's uh, equipment and also I get a lot of emails in asking me what does a new bride need? Oh, what, this know, is perfect. Or know, just bought a home. Yes, the skillet, the Dutch oven, uh, a roaster with the tray, and the, those plate to serve it, and voila. And then, and then you're ready to go as well. So, yeah. and you can, you hand wash this or we can put it in the dishwasher. I wanna, oh yeah, this is dishwasher safe, yes. freezer safe. Microwave safe, oven safe, up to 450 degrees. It has your signature poppies that are on there. Um, just matches the spoon rest we showed you, the serving plates, the serving bowls that we had. So look at this. I'm this sorry, I heard there was food here. I know, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> and Chef, Chef Emerald. <laughs> How are you doing? I saw you. Oh, and you were so busy goodness. with your shrimp. No, I didn't, wanna, I, I didn't want to interrupt you, so I, I'm, no, just, no, you I'm, just, I'm just smelling. Go ahead, I'm you watching. Want, I'm you want to help me for free I'm smells? Watching. Go ahead. So, so <laughs> this, you see, this is this is well, one pot. sticking to the bottom, These are too. beautiful. Very nice I dishes, think, by the yeah. way. Very beautiful. Yeah. Very, very nice. nice. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. I it's, love it. But you know, we, we love cooking good food. Food that's yes. nutritious. Yeah. Yes. But also on the table, we want to look great. It has to look great. It has to look great. It has to look great. It looks beautiful. So you see, this is one pot meal. You have the tomatoes, you have the, the filo eight, sole. Eight, eight portions. Yeah. Is right. this in your cookbook? Yes. It's oh, sold yeah. out too, by the way. It's so out. those who got the cookbook. So can I have this one? I it's a little greasy. <laughs> Did you buy one, Chef? It's Chef a little, little greasy, <laughs> but, you're, but you're used to greasy books, aren't you? <laughs> there you go. The, uh... All right. And All here... right, we're coming up in the next hour, but we'll let you guys finish. I just want to say how excited Not, we are to Watch my have recipes you. there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. This is, you're so right. You work so hard to make these meals. You're serving your families. You're serving your friends. Look at this. Uh, new neighbors that you're meeting. You want that presentation to be gorgeous. I'll move this so we can get we'll a full move it away. shot. So what I want to, you know, the, oh, the message here beautiful. is one roaster, you have your pork chops, you know, you caramelize them first and mm -hmm. then put the, the broccoli, first put mm. the pork chops in, get them cooked, and then the broccoli and the vegetables. You guys, you know, you have to time your food. So you can't just put everything in at once. The pork chops take a while. Caramelize them, put them in the oven, and then you put the vegetables halfway through and the chickpeas, and the chickpeas cooked from the can is full. But it's a balanced meal here. It's a balanced meal. Yeah. So uh, here's the thing, Chef, I want to tell everyone, there's only 900 of these available. So you're the first ones to shop it. I want you to get it home. It's nine by 13. Remember, you're not only getting the baker, you're getting, see the serving trays that you see out here in front? That sits perfectly on top of your baker. So it, it's, it goes from your cooking to your serving. It's up in the you, table, just like, that's absolutely. how you want your pieces. But I also want to show them that they can become a trivet. So let's make some space here. Okay. Make some space for me. And, uh, uh, so, so you have a nice coming out of the oven. This pork right. chops are hot coming out of the oven, and oh, we can I didn't put, even think. Look, it becomes a trivet. And yes. it just slides right on there. So, and you bring it to the table, holding underneath. Now you wow. notice the wide handles. I always, when you get into a roaster and you have difficulties you find in the oven, these are nice, comfortable yeah, handles. Yeah, they're nice and they're generous right. size that right, you have right. on that. And, uh, and of course, Desserts. I have to. Cookies. You know, I saw, uh, we were, I the one. food fight was like, what do you need on your charcuterie board? You can present a charcuterie board there too. Absolutely. I have your dessert. I know, I have not forgotten and, about my and dessert. And this is the, the, the plum, plum chutney with the cheese, a cheese board. And I forgot to plate a, a, a little. Uh, oh. The shell. 
This is baked shell. And you know, you have kids, they they just love these, okay? Oh yeah. Oh, I don't want I'll anything like to, too. oh well. It's nice and, and crunchy here. Let's see. But look how beautifully it comes out. It's not stuck in that baker, right? No. The last thing you want to do not is slide the baker. into the oven. You're talking about sticking. On the bottom, it is. it has like, a, a, it's patterned. It has little waves where hot air can go in. Oh, let me see if I can bake. flip. And, and bakes well. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's it, it's like grooves. Oh yeah, you can even see it from a distance. So that's what helps everything cook more evenly, and it doesn't the stick. The hot air goes underneath. See it that? cooks it evenly, and it's, the food release it releases the food, so it doesn't stick. Oh my goodness! Stay in the ordering process for this. Only a few hundred to go around. Eight one three seven three two is the item number. Chef Lydia, thank you so oh. much. Oh my goodness. My pleasure. My pleasure. Oh, if you miss anything, you can check her full collection on hsn.com. Just search for Chef. Lydia and you'll be able to dive in the spoon rest the serving plate with the bowls that it came with all the things that you can get into it has been a pleasure hanging out with you on this foodie Friday it's not often that Nicole Hickel is here on foodie Friday but chef Lydia made it worth my wall I think I I think I feel a little bit more comfortable to be in the kitchen now <laughs> thank you Nicole thank you let me tell you you got the moves I got the moves yep I got the moves you heard it first